Are you tired of drooling over stunning home design videos on YouTube and Pinterest because you can't afford a professional designer? Get ready to unlock 12 professional secrets to transform your home into a gorgeous masterpiece. And the best part, it's free. And you only need 10 minutes of this video to save you thousands of dollars. Let's get started. To start, we're going to tackle one of the most important elements, colour. Choosing the right colour palette is crucial for setting the mood and ambience in your home. Professionals often follow the 60-30-10 rule. 60 of a dominant colour, 30 of a secondary colour, and 10 of an accent colour. This balanced approach ensures your space will feel harmonious and inviting. Colour is a powerful design element that can make a significant impact on the overall look and feel of a space. To achieve a balanced look, Distribute colour evenly throughout the room, incorporating it in elements like artwork, pillows, rugs and furniture. Moving on, we have pillows. Don't underestimate the simple yet transformative power of pillows. They are an affordable way to instantly elevate the look of your space. Instead of buying whole new pillows, consider using pillow inserts and covers that you can easily switch out to match your decor, the season or new colour scheme. When styling pillows, try and group them in threes, using different sizes and textures. This will make your space look more dynamic and visually interesting. To give your pillows a professional touch, try the karate chop technique. Trust me, every designer does it. Chop your pillow down the middle, creating a nice pinched look and then pull the corners tight for a tapered appearance. Now, let's discuss wall decor, which can be tricky. A good rule of thumb is to hang your wall art at 57 inches or 4 feet 7 inches above the floor, known as the average human eye height. This ensures that your artwork is hung at a comfortable height for viewing. Remember to place your picture hanger or nail slightly above the 57 inch mark so that the midpoint of your art piece is at the desired height. Let's also touch on the importance of personalization. Your home should truly be a reflection of your unique personality and style. Curate a collection of artwork, photographs and decorative objects that tell your story. Thoughtfully displayed, these items can transform your home into a truly personal sanctuary. Next on our list, let's talk about the magic of lighting. Proper lighting can make or break a room. The trick is to layer your lighting by incorporating ambient task and accent lighting. Ambient lighting sets the overall tone. Task lighting is for specific activities and accent lighting highlights focal points and key areas of a room. Lighting can come in many different forms, ranging from ceiling lights, table lamps, floor lamps, wall sconces, and even accent lights such as LED strips. A well-lit room creates a sense of warmth and depth. That doesn't mean that natural light shouldn't play a part in your room's lighting. Natural light is one of the best ways to give your space a breath of fresh air and make it look warm and inviting. Be sure not to overcrowd your space with too much lighting. Lighting needs to be selective. When designing a space and keeping lighting in mind, pay attention to high traffic areas. If you have an armchair, carefully place a floor lamp around the area to create a cosy reading nook. If you have an open plan living room, consider spotlights to create a warm, cosy glow. If you have an entertainment room, consider using carefully placed LED strips to create a glow and a relaxing ambience. Ideally, Try and hide these LED strips in places where they emit a glow, rather than directly being in sight. And, if we're talking about the bedroom, try and make use of multiple different types of lighting, such as a table lamp on your nightstand or chest of drawers, accent lighting in your recessed ceiling, or discreet spotlights on your ceiling. Trust me, this will give your room an incredible glow that will make getting out of bed in the morning even harder. If you've made it this far into the video, then I would really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us grow immensely and bring more amazing content to you guys. And now, let's get back to the video. Now, let's discuss the power of texture. A room without texture can feel flat and uninviting. And let's be honest, no one wants that. By mixing different textures such as smooth and rough surfaces, you add depth and visual interest. Consider incorporating a variety of materials like wood, metal, fabric and glass to create a dynamic and rich environment. Let's think about planning out your space using texture. Start off with mind map of the different rooms in your home, then visualise an objective of how you want to distribute these textures around your space. And finally, think about what item you could use that has that texture. 
Visualizing is a great way to understand your space and laying out a plan is, in essence, what all interior designers do. Next on our list is furniture placement. Look, it's tempting to push all your furniture against the walls, but this can make a room feel disconnected. Professional designers know that creating conversation areas by floating furniture away from walls can make a space feel more intimate and functional. At the end of the day, furniture placement is what can make or break your space. Opting for large, clunky, over-the-top furniture pieces and cramping them into a smaller space will just make that small space look even smaller. Instead, opt for more streamlined furniture pieces. Choose beautiful-looking sleek sofas and armchairs that look good, are comfortable to sit on and don't need to be pressed up against the wall. These pieces will enhance your living space that much more and the comfort levels will also just go up. Trust me, there's nothing like giving your small space the minimalist treatment to really open up that space and make it more inviting and welcoming. Something that goes hand in hand with furniture placement is balance. Balance is another key aspect of good interior design. A balanced room is pleasing to the eye and creates a sense of harmony. To achieve balance, ensure that elements like furniture, lighting and artwork are evenly distributed in your space. Furniture placement, in particular, should be symmetrical and visually balanced to create a comfortable and inviting atmosphere. When considering balance in your home, here's what you need to think about. Look at symmetry, consider asymmetric styles, radial balance, vertical and horizontal balance. Symmetrical balance creates harmony by balancing weight on both sides of a central axis. Symmetrical balance adds elegance and sophistication to traditional interiors. Asymmetrical balance is a great design technique for balancing elements. It adds flair to your designs. This equilibrium creates a more casual and modern atmosphere. Radial balance means arranging items around a dining room table or chandelier to create balance. Radial balance gives your composition motion and energy. Radial balance requires proportional and consistent colour, shape and texture around the centre. A harmonious space should consider both vertical and horizontal planes. Horizontal balance refers to left to right arrangement. Visual weight distribution from the ground up is vertical balance. Mixing furniture, artwork and accessories of different heights can make your space more appealing. Another important element that not many people give thought to is scale. Items that are too large or too small for a space can throw off the overall look. Make sure to measure your space and choose items that are appropriate for the room size and ceiling height. A common mistake is hanging artwork that is too small. Instead, opt for pieces that are proportional to the surrounding furniture and decor. Moving on to another styling trick that's incredibly easy, yet makes a big difference. Decorating in groups of three. This creates a visually pleasing triangular arrangement, especially when using items of different scales, textures and colours. This technique works well in various areas of your home, from pillow arrangements to coffee table decor and shelf displays. Just make sure each item is unique so that they don't blend together. And lastly, to create a cohesive and harmonious home, maintain consistency in your colour palette and design elements throughout the space. This will ensure that your home flows seamlessly from room to room, creating a unified and inviting atmosphere. Remember, Interior design is as much about having fun and expressing your personal style as it is about following rules and techniques. Enjoy the process and let your creativity shine. There's a general formula when it comes to interior design, but it's also about having fun and expressing your personal style. Don't hesitate to break away from the rules and do your own thing. These tips are merely suggestions to consider if you want to create a polished space. Share your thoughts in the comments about your favorite design tip or which ones you're already using in your home. If you enjoyed this content, give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I have so many exciting videos to share with you all and there's plenty of work ahead, but I'm excited and I hope you'll join me for the journey.